Hi! Currently we are in Bandit 21 and if we run LS as you can see there is nothing here so we want to go to 22 and I'm gonna open the tips for that. So here you go it says that the program is running automatically at regular intervals from Chrome the time-based job scheduler. So if you have never heard about Chrome before, think Chrome as like a background service that is running over there in a given period of time. So we have to look into Etsy Chrome D in order to see the configuration for that Chrome and see what it does. So basically, if you want Kali Linux or any other Linux versions, to run a background job that does something in a given period of time, then you should actually have a cron job. This is exactly what it is. So let me show you. I'm gonna go into CD at C cron D as it's uh, instructed over here. If you run LSLA, you can see that we have some cron jobs. So these are all jobs that run in a certain period of time. We don't know whether it's running like every day or every hour, every minute. We don't know that yet. We're gonna see what they do and we, we will try to get a password for the next level from them. So over here, it says that, yeah, look at the configuration and see what it does. So I'm gonna try and cat these things. So I'm gonna cat the first one, which is bended 15 root. And as you can see, it's um, owned by the root and uh, it's actually running this SH and it's um, saving the output into dev null, which is nothing, okay? So it's actually erasing, getting rid of the output, but it's actually running this sh file. So maybe if we can find this sh file, this bash script, we can get a lead over there. However, we are trying to go into bandit 22. So I'm gonna cat that one as well. And as you can see that that is the same thing actually. So this is owned by bandit 22. And over here we see bandit 22.sh as well. So this bandit 22 sh might actually give us the lead that we are looking for. So bandit 15, maybe it, it has something to do with the level 15, but we passed that, right? So we don't need that anymore. So I'm going to focus on this bandit 22 sh and see if we can get something out of it. So bandit 17, I believe there was something in the bandit 17 as well. But again, um, we, we can just go along and just deal with the other ones from now on. So let's go and cat this uh, bandit 22 sh user bin chrome job and bandit 22 sh and no such file or directory. Yeah, here you go. I believe I misspelled the cron job uh, rather than cron job. I actually have written brown job. So make sure you get that right. Write it again and try to just cat this out. So here you go. Let me just copy it from here or just just change the B to C like that. And here you go. So this is a bash script. So this is the shebang and it changes something, it changes uh, a permission of a temporary file. So as you can see, this is a temporary file, uh, at least it's in the TMP directory, it changes the permission to 644, okay? So we have done that before, as you might remember. And later on, it cats the Etsy bandit password for bandit 22, which is what we are looking for, and also saves the output to that particular file that has been created before. So it's pretty easy, I believe. Um, it cats the bandit pass. So if we cat this TMP file over there, just copy and paste it. You cannot write this, it's too long. Let me come over here and paste the selection. We can get the password because it has been read by the bandit 22 user and also it has been saved in the TMP directory, that, that particular file, right? So I'm going to copy this and come over here 
and nanomap nanomite password.txt and just save it over there. So I'm gonna paste this and just write level 22 like that. So far so good. So it actually, uh, as you can see, this was related to um, Chrome jobs, but we haven't done so much with the Chrome jobs yet. I believe the upcoming lectures will be on Chrome jobs as well, since we have seen Chrome job bandit 23, 24, and 25 over there as well. So let's see if this is really the case over there. So I'm gonna open the 22 to 23. Here you go. So a program is running automatically. Again, we have a cron job. Okay, so it says that look at in Etsy cron D. So the same thing, I'm gonna go directly into Etsy cron D. Okay, and I'm gonna run LSLA. So we're gonna see same things one more time, but this time I believe we have to focus on cron job bandit 23. So I'm gonna cat this thing, cron job bandit 23. And here you go, we have the bash script one more time. So I'm going to cat this one and see what it does. Okay, so I'm going to cat this and paste the selection over here. So here you go, an interesting one. So this is a bash script one more time, it starts with shebang and it does something different. So this particularly stands for the shebang, so it says that this is a bash script. Okay, so even without it, it will be fine, but we generally place that in order to say that this is a bash script to the users. So apparently it runs who am I? And as you can see, um, when we run who am I, it gives the current user, which is bandit 22. So it makes who am I equal to a variable called my name. So if you know any programming languages, I hope you do, at least Python or something like that, uh, you know what a variable is. So my name is a variable that holds the value of who am I at this point. And then my target is this value, echo I am user my name. So echo means printed out and I am user my name is um, the bandit 22 at this point and it pipes it to md5 sum later on it cuts it it formats it a little bit so maybe you don't know how to work with these commands maybe you haven't worked it before but uh, let me just continue for right now and then it echoes the password thingy it, it says that password file let's see bandit pass my name to tmp my target so as you might have understand by now it actually copies the current user's password to a TMP folder into a file that we don't know yet. And that file can be inferred from the my target variable. So if we can calculate the value of the my target variable, then we can just cut it out, right? So all we have to do is just understand how to actually calculate this my target and we can do that in the terminal you don't have to know everything about it because we know the my name my name variable will be equal to bandit 23 remember this will be called by the bandit 23 and uh, it couldn't find the command so let me just try it like this yeah it hasn't been defined i believe we have to lose the spaces you're gonna have to write my name equals to bandit 23 without any spaces like this bandit 23 yep it worked so right now if i write uh, dollar sign my name as you can see dollar sign my name gives me the bandit 23 right now of course it says that command not found because there is no command such as bandit 23 but we managed to assign this to the bandit 23 now if i copy this okay and if i paste it over here then my name is already defined by us now it's going to actually echo this it's, it's going to actually print this out so that we can see the value of my target and here you go this is the value of my target variable so i know what is going to be my target and it will copy the current password to the tmp folder in that file here you go now we know the file name
So it's kind of a puzzle as you can see, and it's very interesting. So I'm going to cat that out. And if I hit enter, here you go. This is the password for the next level. So I'm going to copy this. Okay, I'm going to exit out of that one. And I'm going to SSH into Bandit 23. And then I'm just going to come over here, enter and just try that. Let me come over here and paste the selection and hit enter. And here you go. We are inside of Bandit 23. I'm going to take a note of that as well. I'm going to paste over here and say level 23. Great, we managed to make it into the level 23. We have, I believe, 10 to go. So I'm gonna stop here and continue within the next one with level 24.